And then Bran, Bran breaks down. She, mm-hmm. yeah. I thought I was prepared. I knew the theory. I knew. But reality's different. So Bran says she knew the theory mm-hmm. and reality's different. Well, first off, if reality and your theory don't match, it's a bad theory, right? That's right. That's that's like definition of what that means. It means you didn't have a theory that matched reality. It's a bad theory. It's a bad theory, right? So revise your theory. But also, I think she's comparing like Einstein's gravity theory to like space operations on the surface of the planet. Like knowing Einstein's theory isn't going to help you with operational effectiveness. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, <laughs> it was, I knew Einstein's equations, but it was hard. She's like, I knew the equations. Why did I need the instructions to assemble the furniture? Like, th- those are separate. <laughs> those, are, those are separate things. <laughs> yeah. I can understand something ver- theoretically very well, but actual practical application, not the same. Right. I can use the theory to help build things and understand things, mm-hmm. but operations, you know, going down there. Go sideways. Got to deal with it yeah. on the spot. Theory doesn't prepare you for that. Right. right. Well, I guess you could, could you come up with some kind of, theory of operations checklist absolutely i mean and yeah yeah theories of operations is what we do that all the time right like thinking about like what's going to happen and if something happens this is what you do if that happens this is what you do that's theory of operations right so that would be the appropriate theory to compare to what happened on the planet not einstein's equations to the what happened on the planet right i see Mm -hmm. i had a different take on the scene Oh, okay. I thought the I thought the things that she was reacting to was like I knew the theory of time dilation. I knew that when I was mm-hmm. down on the planet surface, time mm-hmm. was going to move slower for me than than Rommel mm-hmm. normally up here. Yeah, but I thought she was reacting to like she knew it in intellectually. She knew it like uh, mathematically, but mm-hmm. to feel it like I just wasted twenty three years of this guy's life. Like oof! Mm-hmm. Like I was not prepared for the reality of how time dilation affects people. I see. Yeah, that makes that that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense because that's like I understand Newton's laws, but if I get rear-ended, it's like a Newton feels like that. Holy shit! Yeah, like getting it's enormous. Like I under, yeah, like to feel right. acceleration. Like you can understand the theory, but to feel it, that's right. So that makes and that also like, makes and sense. And then to have it damage somebody else's life, like oof, it's different. Yeah, yeah. I see. Like I, I understand. That. I understand how guns work. Like, yep, yep. The chemistry and the physics, mm-hmm. but actually mm-hmm. shooting someone very different. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Do you see my example? <laughs> so, so I mean. This is this is possibly my favorite scene in film. I don't know. That's maybe strong. It's one of my favorite scenes in film. Just absolutely, just gut wrenching. Just it'll make so, you feel stuff fast. I I hundred percent agree. It just you know it's emotional. It's crying. Whew, but I also get mad. They didn't plan it out. And now this this your consequences. What the f were you doing? That's right. I'm I'm sad for you, but I'm also furious. Because it didn't wait, have wait, wait, to be wait, wait, this. Let, way. Let's let's say let's say what's happening here. So okay, after okay. after the after the mission, after the two Miller's planet, after the, mm-hmm. the water planet next to Gargantua, mm-hmm. super slow time Mm -hmm. so so they come up to the to the endurance and they get a bunch of messages 23 years worth of messages coming in Mm -hmm. and so coop coop actually ignores romilly completely and he's like i want to listen to the communications of my kids Mm -hmm. here he's like waving like my son had a child when i was away Mm -hmm. yeah this one missed all the moments he missed all the moments and his son is saying like you're a ghost of my past i need to let you go like I need to, I need to move on with my, which is correct like he needs to move on with his life and to live a happy life on his own yeah, but like yeah agreed but for coop it's been like a couple months like, right it's just a gut punch yep his son became a man when he was away and and he missed it he missed it and the son missed him until he could not handle it anymore and he says I need right. to st- I need to stop missing you like right. and it, it's the right move. That's right. And he misses Murphy's coming of age. Yeah. She's now mm-hmm. an adult woman with her own opinions and, and thoughts and feelings. And some of those feelings are fuck you. Like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Like so, a few, a few months ago from his perspective, this was his, his little baby girl. And, uh, 
yeah. he's seeing how he's failed her. Yeah. So I think there's one more picture. Um, just it's a gut punch. It's a gut, it's a punch. gut punch. He just he missed all the moments and it's the love of his kids and they're pissed at him. And, and he was uh, unable to protect them from these feelings of hating him. Yeah. It's of, just of abandonment, of betrayal. Just, it's so sad. But I also have the, just, I get furious because they know that was the consequences of going down to the damn planet and they didn't plan. That's right. They didn't rep it. They didn't, they knew it. What do you? <sighs> right. Instead of being 32, she could still be a teenager. Right. It didn't have to be this way. Right. It might have turned out that way, even with the planning, but to True. not do the planning. That's right. And then to throw your hands up and say, this is the way it would have gone down anyway. No, no, no. This is not the way that it would have gone. Why did my car catch on fire? Like, well, you didn't do the maintenance. Didn't do any maintenance. Like, you didn't even look into doing maintenance. Like, of course, there's a consequence. Right. You can't. <sighs> so it was like this, this cut wrenching, like sadness and crying and anger and. But also, Cooper. you caused it. <sighs> but also, Coop, Coop caused it specific. Yeah, and he's feeling the yeah. pain. He's feeling the pain. Yeah. Of, of his daughter hating him, but he's not feeling the pain that he should of, I f***ed up that mission. F***ed it up. I fucked it up because I didn't think about it. Didn't think about it. Yeah. Should have gone to the library. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have manuals. That's right. The That's right. They have, they probably, they even might even have a technical library on the ship just in case they need to look stuff, which would be reasonable. Just Absolutely. in case they need to look stuff up. Yeah. And they should have hit the books, you know, as best they can. Make sure mm-hmm. all the procedures mm-hmm. are down dial in yeah go down there with both case and tires and be like you're here's your missions just execute them go that's right you don't even need to communicate with them necessarily unless something really weird happens yep man are these the right people that we want to be sending to uh to space? you, you did say that right may, maybe nasa is so degraded at that point that this is the situation i gosh gosh professor brand also said it because because coop was like like a week ago, you didn't even know I was alive. And, and Professor Brand is like, we had no choice. So like they are dealing with whatever staff they have. Like, That's true. That's true. And I guess and, and, I guess the global population has declined, which right. portion of that is going to be the U.S. population. And so you just have fewer people to select from. You're going yeah, to get you're going to get the cream of the crop may not be as creamy since the crop is smaller. That's right. In addition, you have this culture that's like anti-engineering anti-tech that's right anti-tech yeah and they're all depressed and melancholy all the time they're not really thinking like head to the stars that's right so the 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 pool of people is even smaller and you need to keep it secret because you can't have that information leaking out that nasa is doing this project so like the pool of people that could go to space is tiny that's right that's right (sighs) brutal brutal 